The partial differential equation, 6, is known as a special equation called the advection equation. Now, here A is just a constant. Use a function of two variables. You can think of X as representing position and T as representing time. Okay? We're asked to use the chain rule to show that a solution to this PDE, the advection PDE, is of this form where F is a differentiable function. Okay? Now, just to give you some sort of insight into that, with advection, you can think of it as representing the transport of salt that's dumped in a river. Okay, if the river is originally fresh water and it's flowing quickly, the predominant form of transport of the salt in the water will be advective. So you can think of U as representing the concentration of salt in a river at time t, at position x, so how far x would represent you know, position or, or how far you go down the river. Okay, so let's solve this and use our chain rule somehow. All right, so under this relationship here, F depends, oh sorry, let's actually, let's, let's make an independent, uh, a intermediate variable. So I'm going to say, let V equal X minus AT. Okay, A is a constant, X and T are your variables, right? So to set up the chain rule, I notice that F depends on V, and V depends on two things, X and T. Remember, A is a constant. We don't know what it is, but it's just a constant. So to set up our chain rule, we just work from the top to the bottom. All right, so our chain rules are the following. Basically, you want to calculate this derivative and this derivative. So du dx, that's going to be df dv times dv dx. All right, so I don't know what f is, but I can calculate this dv dx. It's going to be 1. What about du dt? Well, that's going to be df dv times dv dt. Again, I can't calculate this, but I can calculate this. dv dt is going to be negative a. So what I do now is just put those two derivatives into my advection, the left-hand side of my advection equation, and see if they cancel everything out. All right, so it's going to be a times du dx, which is this, plus this. And if you look closely, they'll just cancel each other off. And the equation holds. So there must be a... There must be a, uh, I guess, a solution is of this form. Question? What, sorry? I can't, I can't hear you. Okay. Um, so, that is the chain rule. That is the chain rule. It's important to understand which version of the chain rule. There's like five different versions, at least here. But it all comes down to understanding the partial derivatives that you want to calculate or the derivatives that you want to calculate and then drawing a simple diagram 